Welcome back, Mr. Mort Guffman. Hey, good to be here. Good to Again. see you, man. Yeah, thank you. Hey, uh, Mort, just to jump into it, behind you, I see a lot of games. I do. We're talking today about hoarding, kind of like hoarding versus collecting and just kind of our thoughts deeper in that. And yeah. I kind of want to let you uh, kind of steer the ship a little bit on this one, especially starting the conversation. You sure. kind of brought this up to me, definitely very interesting. So uh, let's just dive into it about hoarding a little bit. Well, I, I brought it up to you because I thought Radical, I saw Radical Reggie, he did a video about this recently and the this was their topic. And so I was kind of thinking it'd be kind of fun to yeah. interact with that a little bit. Yeah, steal so, their idea. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so <laughs> behind me are yeah. a, a, a crap ton of video games. Yes. And that's, that's not all of them, there's more. You got more. Uh, and a lot of times when people come into my game room, there's that sort of awe of, this is a lot. And then I think some people are like, dude, do you have a problem? For and sure. I think that's a great question to do ask I? yourself. Yeah. Do I? And to reflect them because this is, you know, as collectors, we have this weird habit where we collect uh, stuff that we love and enjoy. And, um, you know, there, I think there are really good moments where you have to kind of stop and say, what's healthy and what's unhealthy about this? And so I think as we talk about this, I want to give a quick disclaimer. We're not giving medical advice. We're not trying to tell you. We're not trying to be your counselor, your therapist right now. If Absolutely. any of this touches on any of that for you, go see a therapist and find out if you yeah. think that is applicable to you. But yeah. I think in our collecting journey, I think, you know, you've, I know it several times you've kind of looked at your collection and, and uh, downsized or Multiple et cetera. Times. Talk about that. What, you know, what kind of motivated you to do that? And yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, I've been through so many iterations of this sh of my life of collecting, you know, of, of obviously from my, my, I don't even know if people know this, but I kind of started collecting a good amount of NES games before I started the NES Pursuit. Yeah. Uh, got a, maybe 300 games and then sold it all out of nowhere. And I think that was more of a ADD type thing. Just like, okay. oh, what, what can I buy with this money now if I sell this? And then my second run with, video game collecting was, oh, I'm going to start a show this time around about collecting. And I've had, I'd so say- So when, when you started the NES Pursuit, you started at zero. zero you had sold yes. everything. Yeah. Okay. I might've had like one or two random things, but it wasn't okay. like literally, it was literally like maybe I found a game, you know Like I mean? Nintendo World Championships Just and that, Little Samson. That. And that was yeah. called it quits. Yeah. Uh, but I've probably, I'd say in a span of, I'll say 10 years just to give it a number, I would yeah. say I probably had four stints of buying, 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 almost selling everything. Buying, 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 almost selling everything. And then I think I've gone through, I'd say about four phases in 10 years of doing that. Yeah. So I see, I see a lot of collectors do that as well. Um, have you ever had someone see your collection? Um, or do you know if Ricky has seen this as well? And someone, you know, ask questions about like, dude, are you hoarding, you know, all this stuff? Or yeah. have, have you, and have you wondered that for yourself? I, I think there's been times where I, I, I would say that I have um, yeah. hoarded games or consoles or anything, you know, and that, that's just when you sit there. And I guess it was at those times when like, let's say I wasn't even willing to resell this stuff. It was yeah. more just like, hey, I have 12 NESs right there. Yeah. With no desire to sell them or anything. They're just there. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And that would be one of those things where I'm like, that's odd. Like, why am yeah. I doing that? And I think people that have come into, come into my world of seeing me collect and do different things. I'll, I'll play some NES pursuit footage in the background while I say this. Um, I think when I had my stuff, I think the less organized I had my stuff, the more people would question what I'm doing right now with the, the arcade that I have behind me, it's yeah. no, no one's ever said like, are you hoarding? Do you have a problem? They're like, yeah. wow, this is really cool because it's clean. There's very specific things, but I, and like right. yours to me doesn't come across that. But then again, I'm a collector, but because everything's so organized and set up and like feng shui. Yeah. Well, you're hitting on something important, which is that for hoarding, you know, if, if you really want to get into the nitty gritty of what is hoarding, Hoarding is usually an indiscriminate collector, meaning, and not collector is not even the right word because they're different, I think. A lot of people who are hoarding, I think are, are you know, have a number of issues that contribute to it, but usually they're just getting any and everything and they can't get rid of it. Yeah. And then when you get into the, 
the nitty gritty of this stuff, you know, you see it kind of really break down in a lot of other things. So when people say to, to collectors, oh, you're hoarding all of this stuff, um, I think they're using a term that uh, other collectors would say, no, this is collecting. And some of the big distinguishers that I think are important is collectors have something specific in mind that they're doing. And so like um, I, I used to collect Sega Genesis, but I sold it all um, because I didn't grow up with the Genesis. And I was kind of like, well, I grew up with um, Nintendo and so I'm going to collect there. And then over time, it's like collectors go through these phases. Uh, I see this all the time amongst collectors. I'm sure you do too, where you're like, man, um, I used to get any and every GameCube game. But I actually, since we did the GameCube video a year or so ago, I've actually sold off about half of those games and got rid of a bunch of them, maybe more than half. Because I'm like, I just don't know that I'm ever going to um, get the enjoyment out of this that someone else might. And I would rather use that money to get something you know different for the collection and so um you know when you're when you're collecting i think you you are sort of it's first of all it's your money yeah. do whatever you want it, yeah, it's, it's not my money. business to tell you what to do with your money yeah but there is sort of a, a point where um i think if you're hoarding it's kind of going why do i have 12 nes's um and i think there's it's your, again it's your money it's your Absolutely. space but there is a time to self-reflect, I think, a little bit on, um, you know, hey, what, you know, what, what's that, what's going on for me that that that's happening? And I think another thing that's hard is, you know, if I if I needed to, and I have, um, would I sell some of my collection to, you know, take care of something financially or other? And people who I think can't part with their stuff. Um, that's a good question to reflect on of, you know, why is it hard for me to let go of my stuff? Yeah. And so I feel like I see people who either can't let go or people who do what you described where it's like, I get a bunch of stuff and then I get rid of a bunch of stuff and I get a yeah. bunch of stuff and I get it. And when you get rid of stuff, I still see you keep stuff like that people send you from the show and all yeah, of that. Of um, but, um, but I think other times that you just find out in the wild, because I tell you tell me, I think the fun of collecting is just the collecting. It's not necessarily having the collection. It's the act of oh my gosh, collecting. That is actually a topic which I'll try not to jump into because I have another guy uh, named Ed's, Ed's Retro Geek Out. I don't know if you've heard of him. I wanted him yeah. on the show. And I think it was him or either that or Retro Rick, one of them too. We were talking about that, about the which was the title of a Game Chasers video once, the thrill of the hunt. Yeah, yeah. If the thrill of the hunt outweighs the actual fun of having the games, having the collection, yeah. having certain items. I, again, don't want to jump into it too much because I know that's going to be another video, but there's been definitely a lot of times where I'm like, it was so much more fun to collect this stuff. Yeah. And some of it, when I have it, I'm like, I don't really care that I have this. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, totally. I totally know what you mean because I, I feel that way uh, you know, fairly often. Um, I so enjoy the fact that I live in a part of the world where um, this is even an option that a way yes. I can spend my time is to collect this way. It's not lost on me how fortunate, uh, you know, I am to, to have this. And so, um, but I do think there is a kind of point where you have to self reflect on, do I own this stuff or does this stuff own me? Yeah. And, uh, and that there's sort of stuff that's important with that. So I think for some people, um, you know, there's a, a component where this is compulsive and, you know, it's like all you do is think about the next score or you're on, you know, eBay all the time or offer up all the time or Mercari all the time or whatever. And you're out of balance with your life. And, and there is a point at which you kind of have to say, uh, you know, um, he yeah, has all these videos of or this videos. I, I, of I, all decided my to, I decided to rub it in by playing a video you of, your, of your game room collect of your hoarding Look at this. Look at this. Look at this hoarder right here. I know. This is no. unnecessary. No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't have that girl answer anymore. I sold that too. Um, but not, nonetheless, I do think there is just something about being able to to just lovingly self-reflect, not be judgmental, yeah. and yeah, just of course. think about what's you know what's what's good. And, and if it's if it's really hard to get rid of stuff, I think it's that's an important reflection to kind of ask yourself of. Why is this, why am I so attached? And yeah. there might, it might be a great answer. I have a copy of Banjo-Kazooie and Pokemon Puzzle League on the N64 that I'll never get rid of because they, they are so valuable to me because of 
certain memories I have with them. Of course. But have you gone, do you, did you save anything from high school? Like, uh, you know, random memories or. Uh, I, I don't even know if a lot of people know this about me, but I actually did not save a lot of the stuff from high school or anything like that because uh, we had a house fire in high school. No. And we lost everything in our garage. We lost pictures, video games, oh. boxes of Nintendo games, everything like that. So I saved stuff that was still from my early 20s. Like once I started like, you know, stuff yeah. that started meaning stuff to me as it came. Um, yeah. I started to save stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, stuff from my childhood, it just it didn't become an option at a certain point. My, you know, my parents just moved and I have a couple of boxes of things that uh, we've been going through and it's interesting to see what I've wanted to save but then how much stuff I got rid of because got the it. nostalgia and the memory of those things is I think what's collected in my heart um, I don't mean to sound too schmaltzy here but yeah you know what's collected in, in sort of in that spot and there's something therapeutic even about uh, letting go of you know like I kept a lot of uh, you know old uh, letters or um, you know, stuff in, like school things that were important to me. Like I was in a couple of plays in school. Got Some it. of that stuff I still kept, but I probably which, got which, rid of. Which, by the way, I remember seeing you in a couple of plays at school. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think I need to we need to tell people that really quick. <laughs> that yeah. Mort and I, yeah, Mort watched the show. He didn't realize that I went to the same school as him. Yeah, he was messaging me same way I met Jer. Uh, oh, yeah. me. Uh, we met up because you were local. You seemed like a normal guy. And we met up at a Chick-fil-A. And little did we know, we went to the same high school only a few years apart. And then it clicked. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've seen this guy at school. I've seen him in, in different plays and stuff like that. So it was a cool cool little thing, you know? Do you remember, you know, when the first question you asked me was, uh, what um, what other YouTube channels do you like to watch? Uh, do you like the Game Chasers? Oh. Like, that was like your first question. It's pretty awesome. I was like, I don't know about any of this stuff. And then I started getting into it and obviously loving it, as you can see by the yeah. imagery here on the screen. Yeah, man, you, you sicko. <laughs> well, uh, so I think that there's, a, there's um, I, I'd love to kind of ask you this question too. Are there certain things that you hear uh, collectors tell themselves to justify their collections uh, that are kind of like, oh, I mean, okay, that, that's a pretty, oh, no, that's interesting. You know, yeah. like that's, yeah. You know, again, uh, I want to reiterate your truth is your truth, man. But, uh, you know, what? I, 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 here, or uh, I'll say this with things that you've told yourself, not that you've heard other people tell themselves things that, you've oh, told for yourself sure. that you now look at today and go, yeah, that, that probably wasn't the, yeah. I, I've told myself a hundred times, you know, oh, this is, this is so, uh, this is so nostalgic to me. That's yeah. my number one excuse is this is so nostalgic to me. Um, <laughs> you know what? I've never been able to personally make any good reasons for having an, an, a, 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 a bad amount, or, or I guess in the hoarding side of it. I've never been able to come up with a good excuse for myself. Yeah. Um, which is why I think I've gone through so many phases of... Yeah, as yeah. soon as I realize that I don't have a good excuse, I'm like, I don't need all this. And then six months down the line, I'm like, what have I done? I'm so sorry. And I collect it all again. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I doing with, why am I wasting my money and my time? Back yeah. down again. And yeah. then I come right back, you know, each, each and every time. What about you? What, what are the things you hear collectors say that would, what's the justification for? Well, I, I like the idea that you kind of think of what you've said to yourself rather than um, you know, what other people have said. So I, I hear both, but for me, I think one of the things that I've, um, to, you know, kind of told myself is that, um, oh, I, I'm making, I, I'm breaking even and even making a little bit of money. So that's why I can justify this. Okay. Um, but the reason I think that's an excuse that doesn't always hold up for me is because there's a financial cost that, okay. you know, where I could say with confidence that, um, you know, this collection has been basically purchased for free because of the reselling that happens. And this is what all of us who collect do. You buy a bundle of games, you keep the one or two or three that you want and you yep. sell the rest, you yep. get your money back or even make a little bit for your time yep. or whatever else. There's the financial cost, but there is a time cost. There is a uh, energy cost. 
um, it costs time and energy to pack things up. It yeah. costs time and energy to find the it's game. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So I think that sometimes when I'm sort of going, oh, well, I'm making money, I'm going, yeah, but you could be playing uh, with your daughters or you could be, um, you know, doing something else. You could be exercising. I don't know. Which, I don't know, maybe uh, I love collecting because I love the friendship part of it, the community part of it, and um, the amount of friends that I've made through all of this yeah. has been you know, really life giving for me. The best. Um, but I do think that there is times where I've been like, Oh, you know, the, the finances, which certainly I couldn't pay out of pocket for all this stuff because it would, yeah. it would kill my bank account. But, yeah. uh, I think that's one for me. I don't know. It. What about for you? For me, I'm just, I'm just such an, all I can think of is every time when I think of my collecting style, my, like my collecting journey, the more I think about it, I'm just an ADD collector. I collect the way I am in real life. I, <laughs> I go from wanting it so bad to not giving two craps about it in three yeah. months. But in a way, it's almost kept collecting exciting to me yeah. because I'm always like moving on to figuring out a, way, a new way to do it. But that when I think back about it too, it might also be the reason that I'm so like this is because I've never made myself like a tried and true feel good, accessible game room. Even the game shed that I used to have, it was never like tried and true, perfectly clean. You know, it still felt like a shed. The doors were janky. It still felt weird. Yeah. I think this is like I said earlier, this is the first time I've ever collected on this up and down, up and down where I feel like when I come into my space, of collecting and video yeah. games and what I have where I'm like, ah, like, yeah, I feel just good at where I'm at in my collecting cycle, you know? Yep. I don't know. And I've, I've made excuses before with myself, like, Oh, I'll play it. I'll play those games. I'll play them more. And again, I, I do play a lot of them, but yeah. there's times where one of my biggest, biggest excuses now that thinking about it to myself, I was like, well, oh, dude, I'm going to play this so much. I buy this game. I'm like, I'm going to play this game every night, dude. Six months goes by. I'm like, anybody want this? <laughs> totally. You know, I've totally. never touched it, you know. On the screen, it just showed a, a bunch of uh, PS1 RPGs and PS2 RPGs from that video. I got that for $100 for all yeah. of those games. There was, there was probably, without, without kidding, like about $1,500 mm -hmm. to $2,000 worth of games in that lot. Wow. And I was like, well, I'll play all these RPGs later. I haven't played them once. And, uh, you know, I've, I've played other RPGs, but I haven't played those ones. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's one of the excuses is, you know, I might play it later. But um, I also hear people talking a lot about preserving history. And yeah. I think that, that there's sort of a nobleness sometimes in that excuse yeah. of like, someone's got to rescue this game. I mean, we dug up E.T. from literally the trash uh, yeah. in, in the middle of a trash pile. But yeah. um, I think sometimes that's like, well, are we though? Uh, yeah. You know, are you going to give this away? I think I think I'm preserving it for the history that I enjoy with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but like and, for this, like, and let know. us be very clear as we're talking about this. Obviously, this isn't us sitting here dogging on collectors. No, not or even collecting. Look at us. We're not. We're, we yeah. we <laughs> clearly <laughs> enjoy this hobby and this craft. This stuff isn't cheap. <laughs> this stuff is what we do. It's our passion. It's our. It's our a huge part of our life you know yeah so. well which which when i go through the excuses when i think through all of it i think that the kind of biggest thing that i come down to is i collect because it's fun yep. i just collect because Bring, i enjoy brings joy. It. and it uses a part of my brain that i don't normally get to use yeah um, I, and even though it, it does cost me time and money uh it, i enjoy the act of going to a swap meet and walking for a couple of hours with a i friend. miss it so much oh man it's it's a, it's, I, you know, I, I knew I would miss it, but I, I'm like every week I'm like, can we go to the swap meet again? Sometime? I miss it so much, man. What are I you can't. missing most right now? I, the thrill of the hunt. I, I, I'm not even missing playing. I can play plenty of games here. I am missing so much that feeling of just going up to a vendor, poking through and finding the $5 game that's, that's worth 20, but that I just want in my collection. I, yeah. It's a, whether it's a, unjustified desire or whatever you want to call it. It's just something I've been craving lately. Yeah. What about yeah. you? Um, I, you know, when I would go to the swap meet, it was when I would get most of my good, just, I think it's good to have just good friend time. And, um, you know, I used to hear people say that the best conversation, particularly for men that we have is in the car because you're not making eye contact. Um, and swap meets, Jared and I, or Izzy and I, 
um, you know, or a number of us will go, you know, and we'll go, we'll be walking down the aisles and we'll be having these deep, you know, questions about God and politics and, yeah. you know, go, marriage go really and going really deep. And like in the middle of the conversation, you like pull up a cartridge and go, how much for, uh, for this? Like, Oh, five bucks. Uh, would you take three? Like, you, you know, like, on. and then you, and it's just so, but it's, I miss that. I miss that yeah. connection time that, that come with it. And so that's stuff that money can't, you know, yeah. replace, you money know, you can't and, buy us the, <laughs> Well, let me say, for those that are preserving history or for those that are, you know, doing it, that's cool for you. I'm saying for me, when I would tell myself that, that was something that was like, I, yeah. I don't know, you know. Yeah. And so I, I, want, I definitely want to underscore what you're saying that, uh, you know, you, hey, we're not talking on anybody or your habits or why you do it or whatever you do it. As long yeah. as you're having fun and yep. staying balanced with, you know, all the other things in your life. And even then, it's your truth about how you're balanced or not. But yeah. yeah. By the way, I, I totally messed up my screen and I can't get it to go full screen down here. So you get you get an edge of us under here or whatever. I actually kind of like that. I think it looks cool. Oh, thank you. I did it on purpose then. Yeah. <laughs> I can't figure it out for the life of me. Uh, yeah. And again, we just want to say, again, this isn't us giving any actual financial advice, life advice. This is just kind of our story of yeah. kind of the things we've been through as collectors, the ups, the downs, the sells, the, the, the life pondering thoughts that we've had and all that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, whatever you do, I hope you're you're having fun and enjoying yep. it, and you aren't getting overly competitive, but you're able to just have a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I know you say it all the time in the videos, but um, I mean, the number one thing about this is it's so great as an adult to have a place where there's other like-minded people yep. that become a part of your life in ways that go so far beyond video games, it's and weird. that's really the greatest the, the greatest crazy. thing about all this. Stuff. It makes it all worth it in the end, too. Um, more, we sound like we got sentimental. So, uh, I think it's another hashtag more Mondays. Yeah. So, uh, even if this is not on a Monday. So we are speaking of collecting lots of games. Yeah. I've got both of these awesome Ooh. games. These are the shadow of war and shadow of Mordor, um, games. I've got one of each on Xbox and PS4. Wow. Um, again, these were from our friends at Warner brothers, um, who, uh, gave this to us and um well, i should say it a friend of my brother's who gave it to us yeah. but regardless here they are um what i would like to know is what is some uh maybe you could share with the community something that has been helpful to you uh as a collector to kind of keep you uh in a good headspace with all this stuff yeah, uh, like i'd that. love to get your tips i'd love to get your advice uh for my own self and um so tell us and then tell us the console you want ps4 or xbox one and you will get both games. I will send them to you. And um, that's what we're going to do. Leave it in the comments with the hashtag Mort Mondays or for extra points, go on social media of your choice. Hashtag Mort Mondays with your response to what Mort asked you and all that jazz. So that way he can find you out there and he can uh, pick the winner. Yes. Mort, don't pick. Don't try to pick your friends. Okay. Don't I will pick the system. I will pick my enemies. Oh, okay. I like that. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer like, you know be be loving to the people that don't love you too much how about that no i'm just gonna give them to whoever i like then who cares oh, okay. okay good i like that all right that's <laughs> it then more we're out of here then let's uh let's let's say adios live long and prosper hey and uh enjoy the collecting it's a lot of fun it's too much fun <laughs> bye bye